Hello, welcome back. Last time I did one of the puzzles I was most worried about, and uh, turned out I didn't need to worry too much. It did take a while, but uh, I was never stuck at any point. Genetics Division, what are you? The goal of this room is oh, to get both one. of us into that sparkling box at the same time. The catch, of course, is that we have to be alive. Hold on, this is Genetics Division. Oh, I was thinking of the other one. Okay, so catch is we have to be alive yes so oh this puzzle this wasn't the one i thought it was uh, of course um hi you there you are what is that 717w5993 get ready to hear that a whole lot of times okay so this has to move by hmm. being pushed to the left looks like this lab was doing genetic experiments on land animals how can you tell well, see the signs above the test tubes? Those are pictures of land animals. They don't look like any animals I've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> because you haven't been on land. Uh, we got a problem here. This object comes down there. It takes up, okay, so it's four wide, three tall. So this corner is occupied radioactively. If I went flounder in this sparkly box, how's he gonna get there without dying to radiation when his head touches this square? Because he goes in there. This can't Still go thinking? any further. Yep, sure am. Oh, it goes up. Okay. So I need an insulator on Flounder's back. Or Guppy's back. Guppy would be... Uh, either is fine, actually. Uh, it's going to have to be Flounder, because Guppy pushes this down with she just needs some kind of one by one or this would be fine this little thing of eyeballs piece of ice is that what i'm getting in here okay it's definitely impossible hold on is it definitely impossible to pull these out and stack them up and poke this upward and okay that's yes that guards against that. So the piece of ice appears to need to come from here all the way up there. Uh, yeah, so working backwards, right. If I get that piece of ice in, um, what do I need to build to catch it? Hang on, so we got these things. Those are my first problems with the no. ice. Wait, that won't work. Wait, so first of all, how's this bit of ice getting out of where it is without just getting stuck in one of these? Those got to be filled with something, but I don't have anything to fill them with. I think I must be thinking about this wrong. Hang on, am I sure I can't just stack these up, pull this upward, and yes, because of that pit. If Virgil would hear, I could we're here. I could stack up these tubes, poke this upwards with Flounder, push it left with Guppy. Okay, assuming I could stack the tubes, which I, I think is possible. Uh, get control over that, put it in here, and use it as my pusher for that thing. Okay, so a point uh, here. Okay, yeah. So there's one one row of uh, buffer space, which is going to be necessary, definitely. Um. I need both a handling tool here and on the bottom. And that handling tool on the bottom can't be too large. So ideally I'd get this ice here, this little eyeball vat here. Guppy pushes that onto the eyeball vat on Flounder's back. He goes up, she goes around, swims in there, and then she's done. So, okay. Land animal pictures are just three by two blocks that can be pushed around to do stuff here. Okay, so this bit of ice. Are any of these others potential puzzle elements? This one can't go anywhere because it's in a corner. This one could maybe go somewhere if I brought a lever, like say one of these all the way down here, and pulled it up and pushed that over but then that would just get caught in there and clog up this hole in case that's useful. Okay, so that's an action available to me. Mm. Uh, 
Okay, so we got laser shooters there. Movable, but not actually movable. Th okay, that ice is shooting a laser. Uh, two of them, in fact. Where do I even start here? Okay, I definitely need to come down here, right? So open the fridge door. What's that going to mean? Pack two test tubes here, Guppy pushes them down, then pushes this over to drop it there, and it still blocks me. Implying I want to get that steel pipe. Okay, alternate possibility. Say I'd get this object free and somehow lift it up and put it in there. Okay, that's definitely not happening. Yeah, say I would do that, then Guppy couldn't push it farther to get it in there. Well, this flounder had like enough leverage to put... So okay, yeah, so like more than something two by one in there could maybe do the job. Anyway, uh... Let's just try moving around the puzzle. I'm going to see if I can access this bottom part without worrying about what else is going on. So, um... The only object Flounder could use to handle this pipe is the eyeball tin thing. Alright, let's show them the refrigerator. Well, that was dumb. Somebody wrote their password on the refrigerator. Write this one down, Guppy. Seventy-one, seven, one, W, five, nine, nine, three. Flounder, for the last time, I haven't got a pencil. <laughs> oh, I'll just have to remember it. Seventy-one, <laughs> seven, one, five, nine, nine, three. And here we go. <laughs> oh, this was very memorable. If the fridge door drops, that's four tall. It takes up takes up that space with a suspicious slot down here. 7171W5993. <laughs> so what's going on here? I guess if I had that object under my control, it could go in here to help slide the ice out. Is that what I'm doing? Okay, how does fridge door slide out of there? Like, I have to get in here. Okay, so the only thing I can really see to do right now... Okay, and that's immediately a problem because... Uh, well, is it? Maybe not. 7171W5993. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that doesn't actually go anywhere. So how do I move these? 7171W5993. I can do this. Okay, that's productive. Should I commit to never interrupting Flounder as he uh, does his thing here? It might be funny. It seven might be annoying. W five nine nine B. All right, so uh, this is easy to move. Um, I will need to do something different here, but I can do that. Let's go. Seventy-one, seven-one, W-five-nine-nine-B. <laughs> it's the exact same audio file each time. Seventy-one, seven-one, W-five-nine-nine-three. Unforgettable. Uh, okay, so you're gonna have to take purple. Green is not so accessible. 71, 71, 71. Uh, That's a cold current there. She interrupted him for me. Oh, we got a problem here. 71, 71, W. What does this mean? Well, I could push two at once. Maybe that's what I'm doing. 
Oh, hang on. What am I talking about? I can take the green one. Does that help? Flounder still doesn't get through. No, I have to do both at once, right? Wait, hang on. How was I able to do this before? Uh, that's a cold current there. No, no, no. I can just do this with... Yeah, okay. As long as I go right to left. Like this. Alright, that's pretty cool. 7171 W5993. This looks like a flounder sized hole. I mean, it is a flounder sized hole, but. It's not one that he interacts with right now. Okay, so what does this do for me exactly? 7171 W5993. So, in case this is productive, I'll save. Uh. Looks obviously like a problem. Ah, but if I had some extra leverage, I could shove you in there and use this extra space to ditch ya. And I do have extra leverage. Now, problem is, this is going to snap shut. W5993. And it'll do it again, too. So, other test tube? I mean, I'll try it. 7171W5993. <laughs> He's so convinced this is going to be important. I have the wrong fish. It's you there. You here. About time again. 7171W. 71, 71, 71, there it is. W5993. I'm guessing all three of these don't go here this way. I might have wanted to do this in a different order, like get the ice 71, uh, 71, down somewhere with like two of these before I do anything else, but I can't do that. No, it has to be in this order. Because once I push down once, then I have to push something out of there to 71, snap the thing, 71, you know. W5993. And now I have the problem where that laser's there. Ooh, also that kills her, so only Flounder can do that. Okay. That is important to note. Maybe this is where the steel pipe comes in. W5993. Oh, that doesn't even stack on top of that. Of course it didn't. Okay. Uh, so, nothing good has happened. This kills him. Flounder, not again. He'll be quiet now. Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Perhaps better. Seventy one seven one W five nine nine three would be steel pipe. W5. Well, even if I'm undoing, he doesn't doesn't get quiet. Uh, all right, so let's go back to where this save was made. Is there any way I could conceive of getting this steel pipe here to drop those? If I could, Flounder could swim through here with a tube. Ultimately, that wouldn't work. So if I have ice, wait, hang on, the ice would go up. Well, that might be okay. I could just ditch the ice there. Okay, so ultimately, here's what would happen. Let's say I pushed a... Actually... Let's say without any test tubes, I put this steel pipe here. Those go down. W5 pipe is there. Uh, heavy object is there. Ice is here. Flounder goes... Okay, so a test tube also comes along. This surface is smooth, so it can make it. Uh, there's just enough space for that to act as a shield for the laser. So he pushes it and pushes it into the ice, which w continues through here. Ice goes... There. Guppy would, of course, be out here to shove it up there harmlessly. Probably. Uh, test tube falls down into the space. 71, 71, that w object is here and could be pushed to the right to get it out of the way. Flounder goes up, pushes the fridge door over, and test tube's only taking up those two spaces, so the, the door is open. And I can do things. 
71, so that relies w, on getting five, this I, nine, here. The goal okay. of this room is to get both of us into that sparkling box at the same time. Let's try not showing Flounder the fridge door and see if that works. Okay, so um, number of these needed to get that out of there. If they're on Guppy's back, two. Okay, so get two of those stacked up on Guppy's back, and that's why this space exists, I think. I understand some things about this. All right, so let's get that on Guppy's back. Two of these at once. Assuming I can get two at once. Stacking objects can be complicated. I don't always, I don't have like immediate intuition into what the implications are because it's, there's a lot more to it than just getting one object around. Like this, I understand. Pushing one object on fishbacks is easy. Uh, <laughs> on fishback, it's like horseback. <laughs> uh, well, okay, can I use like a staging area? Like maybe here? Now there's enough space on top for Guppy to get around even if I have a test tube staged there. Let's hmm. try that. It looks like this lab was doing genetic experiments on land animals. How can you tell? Well, see the signs above the test tubes? Those are pictures Okay, of land that's a problem. Animals. Let's uh, leave it there for us. Oh, no. Okay, let's leave it. Oh, no. Where am I stashing this tube? If it was on Flounder's back instead of Guppy's, okay, how would that happen? Oh, there are ways. Like this. Then... He could help me stash it right here and I could get it back. Okay, found a stash spot. Cool, stashed. All right, then. <laughs> this password uh, thing has given me that's a cold current there. such a distinct memory of this puzzle. Like this is one that I remember best of like all the puzzles in the game just because of the, because of the password thing. But see like, what I remember is the rep repetition of the password, um, this sort of grid layout, and that's most of what I remember, uh, and that it took me a while. Like, I don't know any of the individual steps of actually making a solution here, so we'll have to figure it out fresh, as usual. Okay, so I want these on Guppy's back. F Flounder can do a multi push to get them into place, so they just need to be on her back in, uh, this looks easy to do. Um, does it now? I mean, maybe the easy way here is just to get all three out and, uh, stack them up in this spot because doing anything else is kinda... Hmm. Oh, this is only too wide. That's important to note. Ah, it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, but do note, I can't stash this here because then both of these will be locked by each other. Okay, I need a place to put this. While I operate Still on thinking? purple, which takes both fish. Boy, you were really impatient there. Uh... Where can I stash you, green tube? Because Flounder can't pull this object out. Let's see here. Well, now that... I've done the green one, I think a viable stash spot is here. Because Flounder doesn't need to swim from above, right? Right. Okay. Oh, well, I could do it up in that lair. Sure, why not? Okay. Enough room for you. Have this, and here we go. This is, uh, this is usable, I think. All right, there we go, stack of two. And yellow is safely stashed for later. All right, 
And Flander can get there and push the eye box around. Okay, this seems useful. Yup. So with that down there, I still can't do anything with it. Hold on, isn't that a problem? No, Guppy can lift it up and then we can move it further. How about that? Agent Tina Guppy he gives her full name there. Agent Max Flounder. <laughs> Let's see. How am I going to do the rest of this? Sorry oh, not like that. I guess for now, I'll stash those there. Seems fine. Where am I going with this? I'm trying to push the pipe, which will mm, unshield me from that laser. And the ice that I'm bringing up isn't going to help with that. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have a laser annoyance. And I don't yet know what I'm doing about it. But for now, let's just accept that it'll have a laser annoyance. Well, no, no. The, the eye box stops the laser annoyance. But I'm going to need you back. You're an important element for later. Also, what does this do for me? This does nothing for me. Oh, an image has come to me. Oh, a memory. Memory happened. I know what to do with these. That's right. It's going to be necessary to stack those in such a way... <laughs> okay. Well, I see it. Thanks, memory. All right. Yeah, so this memorable puzzle uh, helped me out here. Okay, so I just, th that, that all came rushing in at once. Um, what I want to do here is make an object stack down there made of these test tubes and those pictures of land animals. Uh, it'd be great if I could switch fish, and I can not. Um, okay, so let's get these on top of each other. Well... See, sure, cool idea. How do you think you're gonna do it? Like that? Sure, why not? Well, but wait, but I just had that. Oh, now I have it again. I had it in a place where Flounder couldn't do something, I think. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, with these stacked... Let's see, I want them stacked here so Flounder can push, there we go. So push onto Guppy, let's say that far? So I'm not getting these back. Maybe I should go farther. The farthest I could go would be... Okay, so... Am I doing something with these objects? No, I don't... I think they have a role in the puzzle beyond what I'm doing here, and I have one spare, which is going to be my bl laser blocker. Okay. Sure. So let's just drop these here. There's some potential for getting those back if I do want to do that. So now, work with the, uh... Uh-oh. How do I work with the land uh, creatures? So I do still have one test tube. Did I have to keep two and Flounder, like... Flounder, that's not an animal. That's a rope. <laughs> no, Guppy, that is not a rope. It is, in fact, a land eel. <laughs> that's so good. Uh, how do I get these anywhere? I want them here. So I want, I want 
two of these to form a smooth surface there, which is going to require a third one to sit on top of the test tube so that this pipe can be pushed all the way across and weigh those down and do what I'm planning to do there. I will have to pick this apart. Guppy's going to have to be down here. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's a little bit scary, but I think I sort of see how to do it. Oh, that is an ask. Hmm. Um, in the more short term, though, how do I think I'm going to move these down without getting them trapped in the pits? Look at that one there, Flounder. That's a pincushion. Pincushion. Guppy, I'm surprised you can't recognize a land urchin. A land urchin? Is it really? <laughs> Flounder thinks he knows. What is this? What is this? I guess I have to approach from the left. Well, how would I do that? Like this? Eh, she has no thoughts on sheep. All right. Uh... <sighs> So it'd be great if Flounder could somehow push th those with what? I don't have the tools for that. I have this thing, but it doesn't go far enough. And then it gets stuck, and I need it for later. Could I... Okay, maybe I see one thing. Well, those there is going to be a problem, isn't it? Okay, so with the eye box. Yeah, these are going to be a problem. Let's ignore them. Okay, so doing some problem ignoring here. Just just pretend that's not there. Uh -huh. Suppose I did this. Is that enough to get that rope out of there? I think so. If I had Flounder on the other side, then he could push this through here in that same way and I could save this object too. Okay, so if that's my mission, let's do it better. I'm noticing this space. That's for Flounder to sit in as Guppy lifts something that he'll bring over. Okay, reasonable. If that goes there, that's recoverable. Might get in the way of some other things I want to do, though. Uh... Okay, so these. Yeah, those. Can I ignore them and just like... Uh, maybe I can. I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Let's see if I can. Maybe they won't end up getting in the way there. I can imagine a world where that's true. Uh, sure, this is repeatable. It's repeatable better if I do it that way.
Okay, so this is a lot easier to move around than the test tubes were. Just being too wide is a huge advantage. Um, oh, actually, so let's see. If I... So if I wanted flounder on that side, here's how I could do it. Easy. Do I want flounder on that side? Let's say maybe I do. So then if I do this... Cappy had no comment about the rope. Uh, Ibox has a problem. Well, maybe what I wanted was flounder not there, but instead here, and I ignore the Ibox. Maybe where I wanted flounder was actually here. I'm trying to move that right, not left. Uh, okay, cool. But... This is more stuff I need to stash. So wait, didn't I want those down there already? I did. What are they doing still up here? Because they're not doing anything up here. No, 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 I did want those already in this hole. Okay. Well, um, let's see if I can improvise that. Nope. Already got a problem. Okay. So. Maybe I can take a detour from this, like, right now. No. Flounder's gotta get in there. Okay. So. Fine. Ah. <laughs> uh, sure, you stay there. That's fine, because I can do this. Easy. And this isn't particularly destructive, this is all fine. I'm gonna want them here, I believe. Is that what I believe? Yeah, because Guppy's going to have to be down here at the time Flounder's pushing this steel pipe around. Because, once the pipe weighs those down, well, why couldn't Guppy be the one to go in there? Ah, uh, do I want to first put one tube here? I probably do. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so that needs to happen before any of this. Okay. That is fine. Because that's going to be my laser barrier. Uh. Right, and I can just do these one at a time. Get them where they need to go. This puzzle's cool. I remember it taking me like a super long time to well, that see. Was dumb. Oh, Somebody flounder! Password on the can, can can we not? Is there any way I can get you not to see that? I don't think there is. Well, that was nah. dumb. <laughs> Somebody wrote their password on the refrigerator. <laughs> Write this one down, Guppy. 71-7-1-W-5-9-9-3. That's fine. Father, I don't carry a pencil. Time, I haven't got a pencil. Oh, I'll just... All right, so this will be easier. Not really necessary to have them stacked, but it's more efficient. Efficient fish. Okay, I think that's the layout I want there. Uh, right, so I've decided Guppy is the actual one to go down here. Uh, that's a problem because the steel pipe kills her. It will have to be Flounder. Okay, Flounder pushes the steel pipe to there, but then, no, he has to be the one to push it there. So he pushes it there, then he somehow gets in here. I guess Guppy lifts up the pictures, he pushes them left, and they go into this space and take up a bunch of room, but I'll just have to be okay with that. Then she helps pick the rest of this apart. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, probably, but well, I'll deal with that problem when I get to it. 
perhaps by restarting the puzzle. That's fine, I'm understanding the moves that I that are involved in making this happen. And gaining that understanding is pretty much what solving the puzzle is. Um, I could lift this up at a more convenient spot, maybe. Like here. That should work. So snake goes there. Land eel, sorry. Rope, whatever you prefer. Uh, okay, well, no, no, you have to be alive. All right, Flounder has to be all the way out of here in order for Guppy to get where she's going. That's fine. Uh, uh. There we go. Uh. Plop. Okay, so you, um, I will need you on the other side, that's fine. So the position I want for you is... Here-ish. Guppy can't get down there if it's there. Ooh, she can't get down here regardless. So I need these stacked up in this location before I do anything? Wait. No, that means these were in the wrong place, doesn't it? Does it? Do I have to be able to push these down in here without a fish to help me? Or do I need to queue these up so that I can get them all at once? So I know the arrangement I'm making. Smooth surface here, something supporting that's, you know, at leftmost there, at rightmost there. Or if these were one left of where they are, I could just have it fall down against this wall. Because Flounder has to come down in here. Okay, now hold on. There could be... Without moving the test tubes, there could be enough room for him if I put them here. Guppy would still have to be down there in order to... Oh, here's another problem. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Are we missing something really obvious? No. Maybe. Uh, but that's not... There are no problems here. Just just keep your pants on. You don't wear any, but, you know, <laughs> do it anyway. Uh, okay, I need to work backward from something. The state when this goes down involves flounder, here, pushing a steel pipe that's there. Okay, he does that. Those spaces are occupied. Then he needs to get down here afterwards. Which means what? Which I think means Guppy needs to be down here picking things apart. Am I maybe stacking... Oh, maybe I'm stacking these up up here. Because I do need some laser blockers and I think I'm done with those at that point. So Guppy's picking this device apart somehow. Let's imagine these are one to the left. In that column. Guppy is down here on this side. So she's taking up those three spaces. The snake painting has already gone down. Yeah, let's say I had like these three stacked up here. Guppy is there. She shepherds the first one into place and hunkers down in a safe place where it's held up by these tubes. 
Flounder backs out and pushes the other two into place because they're stacked up here and here. Reasonable. Um, and... Oh, here's a... Here's a place Guppy can swim under. Okay, that solves all my problems, actually. Hold on. So I can stack these safely without losing anything at all. All right. That's what I wasn't thinking about properly. That I can stack them without losing anything. Great. Okay. So I don't have to think that far ahead, because I can just do without losing things. Uh, okay. Sheep is the next one, as it turns out. I was thinking it'd be Hedgehog. I'm going to have to, like, start this puzzle over to hear Guppy's assessment of what a sheep is. Because I think I interrupted the scripting for that somehow. And see Didn't that one? Here. Oh, here we That's go. clearly a picture of a rhinoceros. Ah! A what? A rhinoceros. You made that word up. <laughs> I love it. All right. We were missing something obvious, by the way. Guppy was right. Uh, there is enough room to do that. And Hedgehog can just go. Here like this. Uh, careful that eye box. Right, so I'm not pushing it off, just over. This is a lot less stressful, one, without Gupper yammering, uh, Gupper. <laughs> Gupper and Floundy. Uh, <laughs> without Flounder yammering in my ear. Uh, about a password the whole time, and two, Why would with an idea of what I'm doing. Why would anyone rhinoceros in a test tube? It's not a whole rhinoceros, it's just rhinoceros DNA. DNA? Thing that King Crab doesn't understand. Alright, so this, this, that's, um, do I have these in a problematic location? I don't know, let's assume not. They're probably fine where they are. Uh, if they're a problem, then I'm gonna have to redo all this. That's fine. If it happens, it happens. All right, so you would go here. Push that. Push that. I s need to move the eye box first. Doing this too early, okay. Um, presumably I can lift all this up and slip the eye box under it and, uh, do what I need to do. I don't know for sure that I can, but let's, let's hope. So I just gotta get that thing, like, underneath the... here. Uh, okay, I can transfer, I can switch like this, and that doesn't help me. Can't really transfer the other way. Yeah, I can. Uh, I think. Is that useful? Also, no, I can't. Well, hang on, I can do this. But again, is that useful somehow? Hmm. I can only go up so far. And with Flounder there, that's less than otherwise. Okay, maybe I wanted these in a different spot. What does this mean? Let's have that there for now. So I can certainly do things. I can do this, create an overhang of sorts. Let's see if that's productive somehow. Doesn't seem like it. 
If they overhung further, could it do something? No, I think I just I just don't have a way to really put this. Where I want it at the time I want it there. The problem is, I have to get these pictures out and put them somewhere. Can't really store them down here. Once I've used this to push the pipe, it's committed to that spot and I can't get it back, really. Not very easily. Uh, okay, what if... <sighs> what do I think this is going to do? Well, I think it's going to do nothing. I changed the stacking. I can move the eye box. No, oh, wait, hang on. Is this good? Something about this looks appealing. Um, no, why would this be any good? Uh, no, the fundamental problem remains. I can't shove this under a uh, one of those that a fish is uh, currently holding. Okay, let's try something different. Here's an idea. Not again. Oops, sorry, Guppy. Uh, why don't you swim out of there? How's this going to work? It's pretty much not. Is it? No, what am I doing? Well, what about this? No good, because that's going to fall where I can't recover it to where it needs to be. In fact, the puzzle became stuck at that push. Okay, well this seems like it should be a simple problem to solve, but it's not. Um, Alright, so let's go back, since I'm failing to do anything productive here. Let's just find a different spot to store those. I guess I can do that now, can't I? Just like... Pull this out like this, carefully. Carefully. Shove this up here. And, I mean, as spots go, that's not necessarily a terrible one. Uh, I'm gonna have to go further. All right, well, I mean, this is kind of okay storage. Uh, uh, uh -huh. You be here. I'm going to need you to be farther over. Yeah, the main thing is just that these don't need the eye box to proceed. They can uh, require fish to proceed. That's fine. Um, let me put this farther over. So I suspect it might be a good idea. Uh, as long as Guppy has a travel route in here. No, Flounder needs one too. Okay. That's fine.
Uh, not like that. Like this. Here we go. Yeah, okay. There's plenty of room to do that. Okay, so everything retrievable, um, sort of. If I made a mistake with that object, I think I can get it back. Like this, there we go. Guppy can escape easily. Um. There. All right. Pipe's been moved. It's primed to fall. Now, um, having done all that work, <laughs> are these in an okay spot? I just don't know. It's impossible to tell. Let's hope so. These can go one at a time, right? Well, let's do th I don't want to do that. So instead, I will stack them right here. Uh, okay, um, we can do it this way, that's fine. Not a problem. That snake, yeah, I can make that work. Mm -hmm. Now, this is just half one of the puzzle. Wait, don't I need this object again for getting that ice out? Yeah, I'm not sure I understand what going down here does for me, in any case. Do I think I'm getting this back somehow? Well, I don't know, maybe I am. I guess I could imagine pulling one of these upward and inserting it in there. Um, so that would mean Flounder gets under one, pulls it upward while Guppy is in its shelter range. We edge up so that it's here, Flounder's there, Guppy's there, she pushes it to the right. I don't know if I can do that from the state that I'm in. I think I can do that just in general. I hope. We're gonna find out. Okay, so then... Wait, how's this gonna work? Right, I put it there, then Flounder gets all the way on this side, sure. And yeah, don't need to do that on the bottom. Actually, this layer is much easier for that, okay? A lot more straightforward. Cool, so now. You are in here. Just sheltering from the steel pipe wrath that's about to rain down on you. Clank. Shoot, wrong order. Um, therefore that snake is a problem. Okay, I put it too far. Neat. Okay, smooth surface. Pipe is there. I should save. In case this is any good. I don't know that it is. Pew, pew, pew. Now. Here's the thing. 
I need Flounder in here somehow, and how is that going to happen? It may be an issue that I haven't thought that far ahead. Not again. Yep, Flounder's not getting in there now. Guppy can't do this on her own. It involves... This. Not again. Guppy can't do the steel pipe push part. So hang on, how do I elevate these without... Um... Well, I guess I can do this. Okay. That's not the worst thing. Well, Flounder's in. Um, I need to move the tube. Okay, I mean, that's all that's strictly necessary, right? Probably not. Well, that was but... dumb. Oh. <laughs> Somebody wrote their password on the refrigerator. Here we go. Write this one down, Guppy. 7171W59993. Flounder, for the last time, I haven't got a pencil. Oh, I'll just have to remember it. Seventy-one, seven, one, well, five, that's not gonna help me. Nine, three. That's bad for Guppy. Uh, I'm making what looks a lot like a mess here. Mm -hmm. And my plan of blocking this laser is not particularly possible now. My plan of using the eye box is not particularly possible now. So. Let's keep going anyway. Nobody's defrosted this thing in a long time. That's fine. We can use the ice to help us solve the puzzle. That's the hope. Can we actually, though? Also, we got ourselves a little stuck here. Uh, well, I've still no good for Flounder. I guess, no, Guppy can't push that anywhere. I guess she can push it to the right. That won't help. Oh, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Check out this exchange. Here we go. This is productive. Ooh, that was nice. I liked what happened there. Enough to save. And I think, unless I need more of these objects than I calculated for, I think this does actually technically give me all the resources I need. So I have control of the eye box. I'm going to bring it in here, I guess, because I think that's where I want it. Uh... Thanks for that little notch in the wall. It was a very helpful notch. Um, I don't know what the next step is. I'm just like improvising and guessing here. It might look something like this. Sure, let's put it to the right, maybe? Now that's gonna come up through... It doesn't have to come up through. I can just push it to the... Oh, that doesn't quite go on... Guppy. Well, yes, it does. Like this. There we go. Under Guppy's control. And I have the eye box back. Um, that's fine. I can drop it and it's safe. I'll put this over here. Get the box fully back under my control. Careful. Machines together. I mean, yeah, this looks pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, so now I need to do ice things. Okay, ice things. How straightforward are those going to be to do? Um, I'm doing two objects at once. Will that prove to be a problem? Maybe. I don't know yet. I mean, kinda. Because, like... Now what? That's no good. 
Uh, okay, let's just leave this ice here for a moment and deal with the box first. Because I can get the ice later. Okay, box is no problem. I do need it on Flounder instead of Guppy, but I can transfer. Can I? Uh, yes. Because that land urchin can move. Here we go. Uh, we can get around each other, right? Yes. 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 Good. Okay. Box is here. I think I'm basically done. So the ice is what I want to put up here. Um, let's move that box to a real good stash spot, just somewhere that it's absolutely out of the way. I don't know, that's out of the way enough for ice at least. Let's call it good for now. And yeah, I'm not bringing the ice through one of those shafts. I'm doing it this way, if possible. And I think it should be. Looks more straightforward than trying to do something else fancy. I should save. This looks like a real good spot. Yeah, so I'm here. I have the ice. I have the eye box. I definitely can get this done. Unless somehow I needed another object and wasn't able to anticipate how that works. This is why that flounder spot is there. Um, I say that, but that's not true. Do I have an unanticipated problem here? And is it solvable with the eye box? Because like, now what? Neither of us is the right shape for this, and I certainly don't want that. Maybe the ice goes here, and the, no, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, none of these objects are coming back to me. Is this route possible somehow? Maybe with that? Yeah, I can make that into a seaweed-like. And that would actually be very useful. Let's do that. There. That'll just be way easier to work with overall. So if I put Flounder, uh, if I put Flounder somewhere, be put here, then those two together should do what I want, right? Not too far, just the right amount of far, um, like this maybe? Yes, good spot for eye box. good spot for this to go over, now we can switch. Okay, get the box in place. Cool, I think I'm done. Because yeah, Guppy can do the push with the ice up there. Just hold like that. Mm, I need to switch fish. There we go. Uh, yes, that's correct. Neat. Cool puzzle. There's enough room for her. Sweet. Okay. Please enter password now. Aha. See, I told you it was a password. 7171W5993. Access denied. Denied? Yep. Flounder, maybe we should try the password we got from the artificial intelligence. Great idea, Guppy. 
Welcome, Evil Program. You have three new messages. There was, at some point, I remember, a line where Guppy goes, Flounder, that's not a password. Someone just wrote their shopping list upside down. It didn't play during this, and at some point he stopped mumbling the password, so I think I might have broken that scripting. Okay, well that's fine. We, we didn't didn't quite have the experience of him mumbling that for like hours on end while I try to figure out what's going on. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, and that password from VR. Uh, wait a second. Was not required knowledge for opening this puzzle. I could have totally done this puzzle before getting the password. Well, that's not the order I did it, so this works in this canon. Hmm. I don't imagine scripting would respond to which puzzle I've solved and, like, have a different voice line there or something. Okay. Well, anyway, right. Didn't get any starfish. There weren't any there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, okay. And yeah, I did see the password briefly from this, and it just looked like, you know, randomly generated numbers and letters. Uh... But we memorized that one super quick as it fell out of the room and remembered it this long and were able to put it in. So, anyway, next time, Zoology Division. That one I don't remember. Now, didn't this say... You call this first version of Zoology Division, but this is clearly Genetics Division. Okay, so they just typed the wrong name there. Alright, so I was expecting a different experience here. More test tubes and ice cubes. Yeah, four test tubes. More ice cubes, you say. Okay, well, um, maybe I should do that soon while this is fresh in my mind, but I don't know. Probably won't yet. I don't know how I'm going to do with, like, the, uh, these compared to the uh, final puzzle. I have an idea, but uh, I don't have to decide that quite yet because still I have uh, Zoology Division. So I'll see you next time for this.